Hey, hey, Renee, I've always been fascinated with auditions for movies. Now, you auditioned for Urban Cowboy. I now, did. What part exactly did you audition for? What was it like? Oh, I was so nervous. It was the first time I'd done anything, and it was with John Travolta, and I, he was so lovely that he really did save me. I mean, he, he couldn't have been nicer, and, and he, he helped me through it. And it was the scene when they were in the kitchen making chicken salad, or they were eating chicken salad and talking about pecans, and that's, that's really all I remember. But he was... He was wonderful. He, he got me through that. He was so encouraging. And he said, he, uh, he pulled me aside and he said, I want to tell you something. If you want to make it in this business, you can do it. And, I, and, I, I just, and then I didn't do it for 10 years. Well, in that transition from, from uh, modeling to acting, remember one time you, you spoke about wearing this, this pregnancy getup during, yeah, right. during a shoot? Exactly. I mean, did you ever experience agents that were kind of condescending to you? Did you, to, do you have that hump to get over? No, because I didn't go out looking for an agent. I, I mean, acting literally came looking for me yeah. because I didn't want to be in front of the camera anymore, mm -hmm. and I didn't have a, a desire to do it, and, I, and part of that was probably fear. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, David Ward, d the director David Ward, wonderful director, mm -hmm wanted to put me in um, major, major league. league and I did Sable a television show before that and I got and, and you know I um, Nina Blanchard my modeling agent in Los Angeles said Renee you know what just go up for it just go up for it you're probably not gonna get it and I went up for it and I did get it and she said well just see if you have a good time and and I swore to myself because I didn't enjoy modeling that I would just take it a movie at a time and as long as I had a good time I keep going it, well, one last question before we talk about, about this movie. When you're walking around, do people uh, just think you look like someone who looks like Rene Russo? Yeah, you know, I'm not that recognizable. And now that my hair is darker and red, people don't really recognize yeah. me. Sometimes people will say, you look familiar. Yeah. What, 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 when did you graduate? Did you go to... They can't figure it out. And sometimes people say, you look like that actress, um, Rene Russo. Sometimes I get that, yeah. You know, I was looking at the behind-the-scenes footage for this film, and there's a great shot in behind-the-scenes footage where during the dance number, and everyone's looking very suave, very sophisticated, and Pierce actually accidentally bumps into an extra who goes flying into the crowd. Oh, you're uh, kidding! Uh, yes, what are you? <laughs> what, what, you saw some outtakes. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's the uh, the behind-the-scenes footage. Oh, that's but, uh, yeah. the bu you know what? We better be careful with that behind-the-scenes footage. Now, that stuff could get out and ruin our careers, I'll tell you, for those dancing. Yeah, I'm sure that happened on more than one occasion. Well, it's such a, a glamorous sequence, but how glamorous did you feel shooting that sequence? You know what? You don't feel glamorous at the time. You're kind of out there, and I think what you have to do is have no thought at all. You just have to move to the music, period. And it's enough just getting through that and hope that at the end of the day, uh, you come off all right. I mean, because it was just, you can't think and do that. It's not possible. If you don't let go, it's very difficult. Okay. And last question. Uh, I know everyone's asking you about the love scene and, and the nudity. I'm just curious. I know everyone's probably very respectful doing, during a scene like that, but there are ever times doing that that you look up and maybe you see some lighting guy or grip on a ladder chewing a sandwich just watching the proceedings and is that sort of surreal? You know, um, the whole movie industry is surreal in some ways when you're, when you're doing it, but everyone's very respectful and if it's a closed set, that means closed set. But sometimes if you're on location and you're outside, yeah, that's going on. And you know what? After you go out and your top's been off for 15 hours, nobody really cares. At the end of the day, they've seen it. It's over. You know?